Has your water softener stopped using salt and stopped softening your water? When you look inside the brine tank, there's lots of salt in there, but when you dig down, it's hard as a rock. There must be a better way to remove that salt clog and get that water softener working again than without having to resort to a hammer and a chisel and pound all that salt out of there, break it all up into pieces and dump it all out. Relax, there sure is, and I'm going to show you how starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Now, whether you're a do-it-yourself homeowner or a plumber, this video is for you. Through this video, you'll learn how to quickly and easily remove that salt clog inside your water softener and get it working again. And be sure you watch this video right to the end because I've got some great tips on how to make sure to keep that salt clog from ever forming inside your water softener for your family again. Now, in case you're not 100% sure, I've got a great YouTube video that explains how a water softener works. And I definitely suggest you check it out before we go any further. I've got a link in the description down below. Years ago, we never had to worry about salt clogs in our water softeners when we used rock salt because that dirt from the rock salt would keep the salt from coagulating together and forming a solid mass. And also because the water softeners were so inefficient that the salt would turn over very quickly within the brine tank. But what's happened now, we've got the purer salts. So with the rock salt, we had to worry about all that dirt ending up in the bottom of the brine tank. So the brine tank had to be cleaned out every couple of years. Also, that dirt got sucked up into the, the uh, water softener valve itself and clogged the injectors, etc. So with the new purer salt... Um, the problem is the salt tends to bind together and what happens is when water goes into the, the uh, brine tank to make the brine, the water touches the salt, it dissolves the salt, makes brine and then the water sucks it back out. But when it's dissolving the salt, it's also taking those salt pellets and that crystal salt in there and making it soft. And then the weight of the salt above it compresses it and that's where you start to get the salt clog in, in the bottom of your water softener. So if we look inside the brine tank, you'll see there's a brine well. That's this part here. So what happens is water goes into the water softener through the brine well, and at the bottom of it comes out, touches the salt, and makes the brine, and then sucks that brine, again, up through the brine well and to the, the media tank. Well, what happens when the salt clog forms is this is the bottom of the brine well. So you'll see these little slots cut in here. Well, what happens is that salt clog seals off those slots. So now what can happen is that sometimes water can get in, but the brine can't get back out. So that's, that's when the water softener stops working because we can't clean those resin beads. No soft water for you. So what are symptoms of a salt clog? Well, as I mentioned earlier, your uh, water softener has stopped using salt and your water suddenly is hard in your home. So the first step in getting rid of that salt clog is removing all the loose salt that's on the top. So you can use like a pet food scoop or something like that to scoop the loose stuff out. Once you've scooped it out and you've read a, a pretty hard mass, then what you can do is get like a broom handle or a piece of doweling or something like that. Nothing too sharp. That's why I encourage you to do something wood and then push down on the salt that remains in here. So you might just have a salt bridge. So a salt bridge is a, is a mass of salt that's on the top like this. And uh, by using that wooden handle, it can break through that salt bridge and the water and the salt can fall down and then you're good to go. But if you, if you, if you poke on it with that uh, broom handle and nothing breaks down, then you've definitely got a salt clog. So remember I said earlier that the water flows into the brine tank, it absorbs the salt, makes brine and comes out. So again, that's what we want to use here. We want to use water to remove that salt clog. So to do that, if there's any standing water inside here at this point, use a shop vac, suck out all of that water. Then get some hot tap water, the hottest tap water you can get, not boiling water, just hot uh, water from the tap, you need about three gallons. And what you're going to do is you're going to pour it in right around the brine well here. Because what our goal is, we're trying to dissolve the salt right around the brine well. We're going to try to dissolve it away from these slots so that water can get, uh, so brine can get in and water can get back out. So once you've poured uh, that hot water in there, go away. Let it sit for a day or so because it takes time for that water to absorb the salt. When you come back the next day, you'll see that the water will have, have absorbed some of the salt and it'll start moving away from the brine well. So what you're going to do then is you're going to see if you can loosen up some more of that salt. So again, you can use the hammer and the chisel and break some of that stuff up. Make sure you don't damage 
the brine tank itself. Once you've broken some of that stuff up, scoop it out. And the water that's, that's in there, again, use that shop vac to suck it out because we want to put new water in. That water that's in there now will no longer absorb any more salt. So you have to get that because it's brine. You're going to have to suck that brine out and put new hot water in, again, of three or four gallons. And again, let it sit overnight. So by the next day, you should see that there's a, there's a gap uh, between the brine well and the salt. And that gap is filled with water. Okay, so at this point, what you do is put your water softener in a regeneration cycle. So if you've got one of our clack valve, our Hume uh, water softeners, the furthest button on the right, you would push that, hold it down for five seconds. That'll start a regeneration cycle. You, you'll hear the motor start up. This one isn't plugged in, but you'll hear the motor start up and go through a cycle. Once it starts counting down, push the button again, and that brings it into the brine cycle. When it's in the brine cycle, very slowly you should see the water uh, dropping in here. It takes 60 minutes for about the three or four gallons of water to, to be consumed. So don't be too anxious. Just start it on the brine cycle, go away for 10 or 15 minutes and come back. And if you see that the water level has dropped, that's good news. So that tells you now that water is, that brine is getting into the brine well and water will come back out. So just let it finish its cycle. And then again, come back the next day, see what it's like. Any loose salt that's in there, you can break that up and uh, remove it. And then over the next few days, you'll see that more and more of the salt will become loose. And again, you can remove it chunk by chunk. What do you do with the salt that you're removing? Well, I found the best place to do it is just put it on your driveway or somewhere like that and, uh, and just let the rain uh, wash it away. So once the salt clog is all gone, put a couple bags of water softener salt in your brine tank, add about four or five gallons of water, and you can put it manually put it through a regeneration cycle to get the water softener going again. To make sure you never have this problem in the future, there's two things that you can do. The first one is don't, fill, don't overfill the, the brine tank. Keep it about half full when the salt level drops to about a quarter, then bring it back up to half full or a little bit more. And if you're looking for more information about how much salt should be in your brine tank, check out my video. Again, I'll put a link in the description down below. The second thing you can do to prevent a salt clog is be very careful about the type of salt you use. I've got a great YouTube video that talks about that. Again, I'll put a link in the description down below. And if you're thinking about investing in a new water softener for your family, I definitely encourage you to check out our websites, either watereastore.ca in Canada or watereastore.com in the US. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. I'll put a link in the description down below. For more videos on water softeners, click up here and I'll see you there.